Real Food Less Fuss reveals my unique meal planning system, which gives you the freedom of several nights of cooking every single week. Imagine no longer wondering what's for dinner or having that stressful rush to get it on the table. Picture easily serving up delicious meals every night, knowing that you're looking after your family's health. This book will also help you to overcome cravings and have a relaxed attitude to food. You'll never have to diet ever again, and you'll be able to enjoy your food guilt-free. There you go. We are talking about nutrition and a book which might be perfect for Mother's Day as well. It's all tied in together, why don't we? I'm joined by Lauren Parsons. She is the founder and owner Lauren Parsons, well-being specialist. Welcome to daytime. Welcome to Canada and Ottawa. Oh, thank it's you so much. Good to have you here. Yeah. I think everyone would like to know how you began. Where does where did this begin for you? This quest for health and good nutrition. Well, I, essentially, when I was back at school, I was actually that unsporty, shy kid who was always last to be picked for team sports. But somewhere along the, the way, I found that uh, going along to the gym, that I actually overcame that intimidation and built some confidence in myself and got into teaching aerobics. And that led me into a career in health and well-being. So I've done a range of things over the last 17 years wow. and taught uh, nutrition and personal training at the New Zealand College of Fitness. And yeah, now I mostly work with businesses, helping them boost the health and well-being of their whole staff and creating energized team cultures. I know we could yeah. probably have a whole segment just about the importance of, of being healthy. Mm -hmm. Let's, ju you know, in a few sentences, why is it just so important to feed our bodies appropriately well? Well, everything that we put into our mouths, it does become part of us. So absolutely, if we can focus on, for me, it's just keeping it simple to these two things, to eat as much real food as we can, mm -hmm. and number two, to eat it mindfully. So if we can focus on getting more good stuff in first, rather than having a dieting and deprivation mentality, mm -hmm. we can enjoy lots of real food and then just eat it mindfully. So focus on enjoying it, thinking about the flavors and nutrients and chemicals and phytochemicals are gonna come with that if we can eat that beautiful real food. All right, so yeah. now you've got this background right you've you know you've been in the fitness and in the well-being how does the book come about so well this book actually it kind of came about actually almost out of uh Almost by accident, I guess, I was putting together menus planners for my online program, Get Fit, Feel Fabulous. And so I wanted to explain how to use these and why there were several nights off cooking every week, why there was a salad starter before every meal, and how to make it really easy to throw together that salad in two minutes. And so I started putting that info together and I added a little on why to eat real food and how to overcome the cravings. And suddenly it was growing and growing and it was 40,000 words and I thought this needs to be it its own be book. book. Yeah. It needs to be in a book. Yeah. So yeah, this so, is what we have here. So yeah. real food, less fuss, which I think is, it ties into what moms or anyone who's cooking at home. We need real food and we want less fuss. We don't, it doesn't necessarily yeah. need to be a two hour ordeal every single evening, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. And that's the thing that so many people want to eat more real food, want to look after their health, but perhaps they're not quite sure where to start or how to find the time. So this book is really a time saving guide. It teaches people how to meal plan, which I used to be terrible at, but it makes it really easy just to cook a couple of nights a week, have every other night off cooking, create a library of meals in your freezer so that that's really easy to do. Wow. And just save you time, but, but it helps helps people get started because there's so many people that don't know how to take that first step. Where to begin? Okay, yeah. so then what would be your t top three tips to make meal planning Easy. Yeah, meal plan. Uh, yeah, so well, number one is to, to write it down and display it somewhere. So what I do is... Uh, ahead of time? Like you write it ahead of time, you mm -hmm. write it day by day? I write it for the week, yeah. So on a week. Sunday, plan out the week of meals that you want to enjoy and have it up. And it makes it fun, like a menu to look forward to as a family. And I find when this is done, it makes my meals, my meal planning go as a breeze. Are you allowed, like and for me, Thursdays is usually leftover day. Can I yeah. put in leftovers? Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. But what I would recommend, step two with this, is actually every time that you cook, if you think about your default setting, and if you make your default to always cook in bulk, like three or four meals worth, yeah. then you're only going to need to cook twice a week. So you could be having defrost, 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 defrost on all of those busy nights when you're running around after the kids or you've got other things on. So you actually can plan that into your week to suit those busy nights. Beautiful. So rather than just boring leftovers that we might have the next night, it can sometimes feel a little bit that way, yeah. actually systematically freeze the meals, put them aside, and then get them out again and refresh them. Okay, I like so, that. So yeah, it's a whole okay, system. Okay, so tip number one, plan your menu. That's a beautiful card, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so plan the menu, and then always, tip number two is really set your default setting to bulk cook. And that may not sound super exciting, but I promise you that it is exciting being able to get that meal out, just have it defrost on the bench. So do you mean yeah. that you, you make double, double the yeah. amount? Or double, actually triple or quadruple. 
wow. you can. Now I've got a family of six. I would mm -hmm. need like <laughs> a giant so, yeah, kitchen. two big pots on the stove top maybe. Yes, or, why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Yeah. It's going to save you power. It's definitely going to help you with your budget. It's going to save you so much time. And then the thing to do, the third tip is really, and one of my key strategies is to have a salad starter before your main meal. Okay, so, so the, why yeah. is that? So now it's dinner time. Why mm -hmm. should I have a salad first? And is it a big salad or any kind of salad? Oh, so many questions. Okay, uh, wait, yeah. <laughs> so, so let's start. What kind of salad? So any sort of salad, and what I what I explain in the book is how to throw together a sensational salad in just two minutes with my sensational salad blueprint. How to have a great vinaigrette in a jar that will last you through the mm. week. So it can be a mixed. I call, I call the mixed chunky salads. So just depending on what your family favourites are, and the key thing is to avoid food wastage because healthy food is not expensive. But sometimes we have the perception it is because we have a whole lot of vegetables going off in the bottom of our fridge. We feel like we're wasting True. food. So if we can learn to never waste food but always use it up we can throw together a great salad put that on the table and actually finish that before you serve up the rest of your meal and there's so many reasons it's beneficial yes, why number one it's going to help you get more fiber in and more mm. minerals vitamins phytochemicals Smart. raw vegetables in which really are the, the key thing in terms of boosting our health extending our lives increasing our energy improving our skin all of those great things so it's a real practical strategy you can just eat that salad first and by having that first it's also going to help engage the satiety center in your brain to help you know that you are full and that you are satisfied through having that meal so you're going to slow down your whole evening meal and also hopefully give you more opportunity to connect with your loved ones throughout that time so yeah, and it's also cool. wonderful for encouraging children partners husbands perhaps people that aren't quite as big a fans of the vegetables to actually really start to appreciate them more yeah now, we only have about a minute to go but you talk about cravings in your book mm hmm that's an issue for a lot of people that are hard to overcome do you give us some tips on how to do that yeah I do so part of my story was I went and lived in France for a year when I was 18 and six months into my exchange I put on so much weight that I no longer could fit my clothes anymore mm. and I was miserable and then one day I started to discover how everyone else around me, while they were eating the same types of food as me, they were eating in a completely different way. And so for me, I love sharing with people that French attitude to food, how to eat mindfully, and how to not just love your food, but also really respect it. So there are a lot of practical tips I share in the book on knowing what your triggers are and how to plan for those triggers and how to strategize. But also it's about just eating mindfully and, and really loving and appreciating that food without it controlling you. Beautiful. I love this. We could chat forever. I love everything that has to do with mm -hmm. healthy living. Real food, less fuss. Now, before I forget, there's a book yes. signing. It's mm -hmm. happening at Chapters uh, in Gloucester, which is the one that I believe is on Ogilvy Road. This Friday, mm -hmm. yeah. May 12th, from 5 to 8 p.m., you'll meet Lauren. You can buy her book. She'll sign it for you. Very good. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Look forward All right. To we are going to take a quick break. I might have to steal this one. And when we come back, we're talking fragrances with who other than Sid Kratzberg. We'll be right back.